Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to review the Betso Bowtie Antenna. So I'll start with an overview of the system and then give you a close look at the components included with each antenna and then share with you the results of the field testing I've done thus far. I wanna mention that I purchased these antennas with my own money for use in my sound bag. So I wasn't paid by Betso or any other company to make this review. So let's get right to it. Quick overview of the Bowtie antenna is this is a small, compact, wideband antenna that is omnidirectional and designed for use in the sound bag. Each antenna comes with a special bag mounting hardware and two coaxial cables. The benefits of using a system like this is that you would have more than a quarter wavelength between two antennas to help diversity systems operate more efficiently, allowing you to combine multiple receivers in the bag, assuming you have the proper RF distribution hardware. Also, another distinction between this antenna and say using dipole antennas, also in a diversity type array, is that it doesn't require you to build your own custom mounting hardware in the back, allowing you to have the convenience of one system that allows you to be easily removed or added out when working in the field. Inside the package is the bow tie antenna itself, which is CNC milled, has a anodized aluminum frame and is epoxy sealed with a glass reinforced laminate, which means it's really effing strong. It has an IPA rating of 65, which probably means it could handle some light rain or splashes and do quite well. Now the dimensions are four by seven by half inch approximately, and the weight comes in right at 76 grams or 0.2 pounds. Next is the antenna bag mounting system, which is fully articulating on two axes. On one side is the clamp, which can open up up to two inches, and on the other side is the quarter 20 mount. I found when putting it on the sound bag, it was plenty rigid and strong to hold the antenna, and I had plenty of flexibility moving around the antenna in different type of orientations. Also included on the bag mounting system is a female 3 8 thread in case you wanted to use it for some sort of quick release or boom mounting system. Also included are two low profile coaxial cables, one terminated with BNC on both sides, the other BNC and SMA to the other side. They are 30 centimeters in length or right under 12 inches. And I found the low profile of the cables very convenient when moving around the tight spacing of the sound bag. Also the cost of cables as we know is very expensive when outfitting the different types of gear. So the fact that these cables are included with the system offers an excellent value in my opinion. So let's talk about my field test results. I was able to do two specific tests, both of them in exterior environments with the intentions of putting some stress on the system. Now, I was able to use two SRCs and one transmitter and basically coordinate those SRCs to the same frequency so I could directly compare the whip antennas to the bow tie antennas. I did some walk tests along a 20 foot wall going approximately 100 to 150 feet and then did a second test where we crossed the street so we could have moving vehicles and cars all around with the intentions of creating a congested environment with lots of multi-path reflections. Consistently, the bow tie antenna with the SRC connected performed about 20 to 25% better than the whip antennas on the test that we did. Now the tests were not scientific and they were very general. However, I think it's important to distinguish that the bow tie antenna is not a substitute for a high gain antenna, which is more directed. So my conclusion is I would typically use these antennas in the same type of environments where I would use whip antennas except I get the convenience of using the greater spacing, which could perform better in a diversity mode, such as the switch diversity mode that I use, and also the convenience of being able to take multiple receivers on one antenna, providing you already have the RF distribution hardware necessary to do so, and the increased performance and reliability that I experience is definitely worth the value and price of this particular system. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. This channel is dedicated to the craft of production sound mixing. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys soon.